Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a quick 30 minute twisting and strength based practice. So this is probably a level 2-3 practice. Um, we don't get into anything particularly fancy, so there's no arm balances or inversions or anything in this class, but there's a lot of strength building work in this class. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. And if you've got comments or feedback, please let me know in the comments section below. We are going to get started today in a tabletop position. to a neutral spine, take an inhale, as you exhale, extend your left leg back behind you, and then sweep it all the way off to the left side of your mat, set it down, as you inhale, sweep your left arm up towards the sky, and then as you exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right, inhale, open it up, exhale, thread it under, one more here, inhale, exhale, Inhale, sweep the left arm up towards the sky. You're going to take that left leg, float it towards the back of the room as you kick your right foot off the mat. So now we're in a modified side plank. Take an inhale, reach the left arm long, tap the left foot to the floor. As you exhale, press into the left foot, drive the right knee up into the chest. Inhale, set the right knee down. As you exhale, lift the left leg. Inhale, set the left leg down, press into the foot. As you exhale, lift the right knee into the chest. Inhale, set the right knee down. Exhale, lift the left leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, right knee to chest. Two more like this. On this last one, we're going to hold the right knee into your chest in your side plank. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, straighten out the right leg, set it down, come into your fallen triangle. Inhale here. As you exhale, take that left arm, thread it underneath your right arm. And then inhale, open it back up. Exhale, thread it under. Inhale, open it back up. Three more here. Inhale the left arm to the sky. As you exhale, you're going to lift the right leg up and then inhale, tap it down to the floor. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, tap it down. Just three more. Draw the right knee in towards the chest. Take the left hand down. Step the right knee down. Step the left knee down. Tabletop. Inhale, come into your cow belly breath. Exhale, tucking around. Come into a neutral spine, take an inhale. As you exhale, extend the right leg behind you and then sweep it all the way out to the side and set it down to the right side of your mat. Inhale, sweep your right arm up to the sky. And then as you exhale, thread it underneath the left. Two more here. Inhale, sweep the right arm up towards the sky. As you exhale, the left foot kicks off the mat as you sweep the right leg to the back of the mat for your modified side plank. As you inhale, sweep the right arm forward as you set the right foot down. Exhale, push into the right foot with the left knee into the chest. Inhale, set the left knee down. Exhale, lift the right leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, lift the knee. Inhale, set the knee down. Exhale, lift the leg. Three more. Set 
the right foot down, press into the right foot, draw the left knee into the chest, and then kick it out to the left side of your mat, set it down into your forward triangle. Inhale, sweep the right arm to the sky, and then as you exhale, thread it underneath the left. Four more. into the chest, set the right hand down, left knee down, right knee down, tabletop position, tuck under your toes, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift into your bare pose, knees hovering. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, try and keep your knees equal distance from the floor as you tap your right hand to your left knee. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left hand, right knee. Inhale, set it down. Listen carefully. As you exhale, straighten the knees, tap the right hand to the left Pose. Inhale, come back into your bear. And then as you exhale, straighten the knees, tap the left hand to the right toes. Inhale, into your bear. Stay in your bear. Exhale, tap the right knee. Inhale, set it down. Tap the left knee. Inhale, set it down. Straighten the legs as you tap the opposite toe. Inhale, into your bear. Exhale, straighten the legs, tap the opposite toe. Inhale, come back into your bear. We're going to go through three more rounds like that. So opposite knee tap in your bear, and then opposite knee tap into your down dog. Last round here. back into your bed pose, take an inhale. As you exhale, keep your hands down. You're just going to swivel your knees to the left and then shoot your right leg out underneath you. So try and keep your left hand down and then come back into your bed. Swivel your knees to the right, shoot your left leg out to the right, try and keep your hands down and then bring it back in. So if you've got short little arms like me or you're just not very flexible, also like me, it might be really hard to keep your hands down and that's okay, you're just working towards trying to keep them down as much as you can. We go one more like this on each side. Now you're going to lift the opposite hand. So you're going to swivel your knees towards the left. Lift your left hand as your right knee, uh, right foot shoots off to the left. See if you can sink your hips back towards your heel a little bit. And then come back through center to your bear. Swivel your knees towards the right. Right hand lifts, left leg extends. Send your hips back towards your right heel. And then come back into your bear. And then we'll speed it up. Shoot your leg to the left. Inhale through your bear. Shoot over to the right. Inhale through your bear. Three more on each side. Last one. Come back into your bear and then straighten yourself out into your downward facing dog. On your next inhale, you will ripple yourself forward into a high plank pose. Feet are together. Keep your heels together. Keep both of your palms down. As you exhale, you're going to swivel your heels to the right. Maybe your feet stuck. And then inhale, come back through center. We're going to come down into a chaturanga. Plank. Swivel your heels to the left. Keep your palms down. Maybe the feet stuck. Center. Chaturanga. Plank. Swivel right, center, chaturanga, plank, swivel left, center, chaturanga, plank. 
we're going to do three more to each side, so six more in total. You need to cut out the chaturangas, obviously you can do that. You can always lower your knees as well. Last round here. One more to the left. And then send those hips all the way up and back, downward facing dog. Take tiny little baby steps all the way to the top of your mat, keeping your knees as straight as what is comfortable in your body. As you inhale, come into a halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Take a deep bend into the right knee. Bring the right hand down to the floor as you inhale. Sweep the left arm up towards the sky. Listen carefully as you exhale. Press into your right foot. Start to open that left leg up to the sky. We've come into a half moon. As you exhale, you're going to come back down and we're going to switch it out. So bend into your left knee. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. And then as you exhale, sweep your right leg up. Half move. Inhale, come into your forward fold. Exhale, right hand finds the floor, bend the right knee. Inhale, open the left arm. As you exhale, lift the left leg. Inhale, bring it back down through your forward fold. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, straighten the right arm or twist to the right, open the arm. As you exhale, lift the right leg. Inhale, forward fold. We're just going to do one more on each side. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, open the left arm up. Exhale, sweep the left leg up. Inhale, forward fold. Exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, open the right arm. Exhale, sweep the right leg. And then inhale, forward fold. Generous bend in the knees. Drop the tail towards the floor as you roll up the length of your spine. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. As you exhale, keep your hips forward, turn towards the right. So think about drawing your right hip forward as your right rib cage turns backwards. And then inhale, come up through center. Exhale, other direction, draw your left hip forward slightly as you take your torso back to the left. Inhale through center. One more each side. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step back to your high plank pose. Feet are about hips distance apart. We're going to take little hip tucks from side to side. So it's like a little swivel of your heels, not all the way to the outside edge of your feet. To the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. We're going to keep this motion and we're going to lower down into our chaturanga for the count of six. So here we go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your little rainbow. We're coming up for six, five, four, three, two, one. Take an inhale. As you exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale to plank. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale to plank. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale to plank. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale to plank. Three more on each side. Good news, we get to do that little chaturanga move again. So start your little hip swivel from side to side. And we're going to lower down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom. And then press it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, set your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look to the top of your mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the right knee, inhale, sweep the left arm up. 
As you exhale, take the left leg to the sky. Listen carefully, this time as you inhale, keep the leg up, just take the left hand down. And then as you exhale, open the right arm up, coming into your twisted half moon. Take the right hand down, inhale, open up into your half moon. Exhale, take the left hand down. And then as you inhale, open up, twisted half moon. We're going to do three more each way. Keep nice and strong through your left leg. You could always have a block underneath your fingertips if you need it. One more. Come into your forward fold, set the left hand, uh, left foot down, inhale, halfway lift the length then, exhale, forward fold, bend the left knee, inhale, sweep the right arm up, as you exhale, sweep the right leg up, half moon, as you take an inhale here, exhale, bring the right hand down towards the floor, square off the hips, and then inhale, sweep the left arm open, twisted half moon. Exhale, brings you through center, Inhale, opens you up into your half moon. Exhale, brings you through center. Inhale, opens you up into your twisted half moon. Three more. Come back through center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Generous bend in the knees as you roll up the length of the spine. This time as you inhale, come all the way up onto the tippy toes. Hug the inner ankles towards each other. As you exhale, twist open towards the right. Stay on your toes. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, twist open to the left. Inhale, through center. One more on each side. I'm just realizing that there's like a menagerie of butterflies that have just like invaded my space. I can see like five on various walls, which is way better than cockroaches, which is what happened like a couple of weeks ago where there was this like an infestation of cockroaches here. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky. Stay on your tippy toes. As you exhale, you're gonna lower as low as you can before you're resting. So you're in a really low chair thighs almost parallel to the floor if you can. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, keep your knees in line with each other. See if you can sweep the right arm back without drawing the right leg back with you. Inhale, come back into this chair situation. And then as you exhale, sweep your left arm back, but try not to pull the left knee back with you. Inhale, come through center. We're gonna do four more to each side. your quads are not burning by now, we need to have a conversation. <laughs> I did go skateboarding for like two hours this morning, so my legs are pretty cooked. Two more each way. push for the tippy toes. You're going to lower yourself all the way down so that you're up on your toes. Then try and bring your thighs parallel to the floor if you can. So sit up nice and tall. Hands are going to come behind your head. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Take an inhale. Elbows stay wide and you exhale. Twist towards the right but keep your inner thighs glued towards each other. So don't let that right leg come with you. Inhale. Drawing it back through center. Hug your inner ankles towards each other. Exhale, twist to the left. Hey, buddy. Inhale, come through center. We've got four more to each side. Four, 
tempo preferito che vive tan difficile per te. Stanno adottando solo un perito. One more to each side. You should feel your feet and ankle muscles working a lot to keep you here. Come back to your center. Keep your hands behind your head. Stay up on your tippy toes. Take an inhale. As you exhale, stay on your toes. Dive your chest forward. Take your hips high. Keep your elbows wide. This is like a drinking bird, but with your hands behind your head. Hug your inner ankles towards each other. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, release it forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step back into your plank pose. Keep your feet about hips distance apart. You're going to swivel your heels to the right so your feet are staggered here. As you inhale, you're going to sweep your left arm towards the front of the room so we're in a side plank. As you exhale, bend your knees, send your hips back towards your heels. Inhale, come through center. As you exhale, listen carefully, keep this twist in your feet. Take your left hand down, come into a chaturanga. Inhale, back up. As you exhale, lift the left hand, send the heels back, to, hips back towards the heels. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, twist the chaturanga. Inhale, into this side plank. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, twist the chaturanga. You've got two more here. Come back to your plank. We're going to come straight into the other side. So swivel your heels over towards the left. Your feet are staggered. Lift your right hand up so you're in a side plank. Send your hips back towards your heels. Bring it forward. Take the right hand down. Shift forward into that twisted chaturanga. Try and keep your left leg off the ground. Press up into the plank. Side plank. Excuse me. Hips to heels. Side plank. Chaturanga. Side plank. Hips to heels. Side plank. Chaturanga. Two more on your own. through your plank pose, downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep your right leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, sweep your right arm all the way to the sky. As you exhale, press to stand, but keep the twist. As you inhale, left fingertips are just gonna graze the floor. You're not really setting much weight down into that hand. And then as you exhale, come back up into your twist. Inhale, left hand grazes the floor. Exhale, bring it back up. Three more here. Last one, we're going to hold in this twist. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press into the right foot. We're coming to stand. You're going to tap the right elbow to the left knee as the left knee draws in towards your chest. And then we're going to reverse that. So you'll step back as you inhale, twisted lunge, twist to the right. As you exhale, step up to stand on the right leg, tap right knee, uh, sorry, right elbow, left knee. What's the left and right? Inhale. Lunge, twist right, exhale, stand, twist left. That's a better instruction. Two more.
stay standing. You can either grab a hold of your left knee with your right hand or your left foot with your right hand and bring this up into your standing twist. Draw your left hip down in line with your right. Stand nice and tall through your spine. Three more breaths. We're going to unwind back into our twisted lunge. So step back, twist to the right, set your left hand down, inhale, sweep your right arm to the sky. As you exhale, step back into your side plank pose. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, right hand threads underneath the left rib cage. Inhale, open it up. Want to make this harder? You can float that right leg up. We've got four more. Inhale into your side plank. As you exhale, come down into your chaturanga. We're going to hold down here. See if you can tap your right hip to the floor. Inhale through center. Exhale, left hip to the floor. Inhale through center. Four more to each side. You can do this from your knees if you need to. Press the floor away, plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, sweep your left arm to the sky. As you exhale, come all the way to standing, twisted crescent. As you inhale, that right hand just grazes over the floor. Exhale, bring it up into your twist. Inhale, float the right hand above the floor. Three more here. Hold it in your lunge twist. Take your hands to your heart center. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, press to stand on the left leg. Twist towards the right. Tap elbow to knee. And then inhale, come back into your twisted lunge. We've got four more here, nice and slow. Last one, we're going to hold it at the top. Left hand will either find the right knee or the right foot. Send that right arm out behind you, coming into your standing twist. reverse your weight out so come back into your twisted lunge set your right hand down left arm up take an inhale as you exhale step back into your side plank pose inhale here as you exhale thread the left arm underneath the right inhale open it up if you want to make it harder for the last four float your left leg Inhale, open it up into your side plank. As you exhale, come down into your chaturanga. Take an inhale here. If you can, keep the chaturanga. You're going to exhale, see if you can cross your right knee under the body towards the left. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, think about left thigh to right wrist. Inhale, bring it back. We're going to try for four more on each side. Inhale through center, exhale to plank, down with facing dog. Look towards the top of your mat, step, walk or float through to a seat. 30 minutes goes super quick. 
And we're going to come into our boat pose. As always, modify as you need to here in your boat pose. Float your arms out in front of you. Try and keep your feet together wherever you are, whether your legs are straight, bent, or down on the floor. You'll take an inhale. As you exhale, bend the right elbow, twist back, and then see if you can tap the back right corner of your mat. Inhale, come through center. As you exhale, start by bending the left elbow, twist, then reach and see if you can tap the back of the mat. Inhale, through center. Exhale, twist and reach. Inhale, through center. Exhale, twist and reach. Inhale, through center. We're gonna go for two, eight more on each side. One more each side. And then bring it all the way up through center. Scoot yourself back a little bit. Straighten out through your legs any amount. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, it's a little twist towards the left. You're going to see if you can bring your left hand to the outside, uh, sorry, your right hand to the outside of your left foot. Coming into a slightly twisted Paschimottanasana. Left hand can either reach towards the right side of your mat or you can reach it also towards the left side of your foot. And if you prefer to just take a normal forward fold, then that's also, that's also great. And you'll slowly unwind yourself. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. As you exhale, it's a little twist towards the right and then reach towards the outside edge of your right foot. So you can grab a hold with your left hand and the right hand goes wherever is most comfortable for you. release, bring it back up through center. My dog is conditioned that when he hears a motorbike horn, he thinks that my husband has ordered chicken and he gets really excited. You're going to come into a simple cross-legged position. If you would prefer to take a gobble kasana or another hip opener, feel free. Otherwise, you're going to sweep your hands up towards the sky and then exhale. So it's a simple twist towards the left side of your mat. loves it when my husband orders chicken because he knows that he's going to get the scraps. And then come back to your center. Inhale, sink your arms all the way up to the sky and then exhale, take a twist to the right. center. If there are any other stretches, positions or movements that you want to take before you finish your class, please feel free to take them. If you would like to finish in Shavasana, you can find your way there now. Otherwise, I'm going to finish here with you in a seat. Wherever you are, I encourage you to close your eyes down, even if it's just for a moment. Turn your palms up towards the sky. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And a big open mouth exhale to let it all go. As always, thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, namaste.